A lot of energy. So loud, yeah. Oh, my God. What am I like? I've always been a pocket rocket. A total bundle of energy. But that's just my style. Style. Fashion icon? Maybe that's because fireworks are designed to make people smile. They're modelled to be colourful and create joy and happiness. Sounds like someone from up north. A firework makes any event a party. And you can't have a party without a few fireworks. Did someone put it on an accent? Normally, you'd find us in the sky. But this one has also lit things up in another fashion. Fashion designer. So stand back and shield your eyes because I'm about to walk into this competition with a bang! What did you think? I love, love, love your energy. I thought somebody who's really fun, you seem pretty sporty, you seem very sort of in control of your body, and I was going to go with the Sporty Spice Melcy. Yeah, that's a good guess. Yes. Jonathan, who do you think it is? There was lots of reference to fashion and modelling in there. I think it might be Jodie Kidd, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Mo. Go on, Mo. Oh, this one was very tough because the accent sounded like it was somewhere from up north. But the way you sung, mm -hmm. I couldn't hear the accent. So I don't know if it's someone that's trying to play us. Then I thought the pocket rocket, someone who's fiery, might have done some modelling. And it could possibly be Melanie Sykes. Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> the clues said a lot about modelling, about the kind of red carpet. He's somebody who's out there in the fashion world designing. It really made me think of Molly May. So that's who I'm going to go with. That's that's interesting. A little ripple of applause there, like we're at the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> you need a clue? We really yeah, need a clue. Yeah, we well, need I'll one. I'll give you a clue. Do you have a fact for us, Firework? Well, I light up the street with a different kind of flash. Light up the street with a different kind of flash. Yes. Uh, this actress used to be in Coronation Street. Yes. And she was in that series called Our Girl. Oh, oh yeah. Soldier. Yeah. Michelle, Michelle Keegan. Michelle Keegan. Keegan. Yes. That's more than a cricket applause. <laughs> well, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Have the panel pass with flying colours. We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fireworks! Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? 
Were the panel bang on with these guesses? Who do you think Firework really is? That performance felt amazing! I am sparkling right now. went off with a bang! Molly May. Michelle Keegan. Sporty Spice Melcy. Jodie Kidd, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm ready to shine once more. Knock, knock, who's who? It's me in a good mood, everything's going... The reality of being a firework is that you've always looking for a spark. Reality show. Love Island. I mean, just like me, I like things that spark my interest. They never really thought I'd be the boom player. My skates. Watch me, watch me, oh, watch but I have a very short attention span. I think she's young. Watch me, oh, watch me do my thing. I've always been that way. When I was just a little sparkler, I was always jumping from sport to sport. Go ahead, take a picture with the camera. I did all of them. I was a swimmer, a runner, I tried gymnastics. She's very physical. I even won a gold medal once. And I did end up taking part in some games later on in life. Could have won a reality TV show. Those early years definitely lit a fuse under me that made me the firework I am today. Watch me do my thing. Set the house on fire. Wonderful. Jonathan, what do you think? What a great start to the show, wasn't it? That was amazing. <laughs> one big clue was won a gold medal, and I think I recognise that voice. Ooh. Someone who is now one of the biggest professional singers in the country, Anne Marie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's good, yes. I'm going to come to you next, Rita. All right, so I do think you can hold a note. I don't know if music is your first thing, but I mean... I mean That's going to be embarrassing when Anne-Marie takes the mask off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and remember, she knows how to kick people, so you're in big trouble. This is what's so confusing. I know I said that it may not be her first thing, but I think you do multiple things. I think you have a career in music, a career in acting. Yeah, just keep digging. <laughs> you know, I also think it could be one of the Minogues. One of the Minogues? Which one? I'm going to go with Danny. Danny, that's a good guess. I'd go with Peter. Peter Manon. Peter Manon. <laughs> he doesn't get out much, but he's got a great voice, Peter. <laughs> Peter Manon. Davida, is it Peter Manon? Could be. <sighs> so, 
I just keep going back to various reality TV programs. You talked about being sporty, and she is the fitness queen. She won a show that I worked on. Kate Lawler. Oh, oh that's a good one. Yeah, she's got a Kate Lawler vibe. Mo Gilligan. I'm a bit all over the place, if I'm honest, because I've seen so many things. There was the reality reference, found love on a TV show, yeah. which could be a soap. Yeah. The oh, sports yes. reference, someone that keeps fit. <gasps> and I'm going to go back to who I said last week, is Michelle Keegan. Yeah, I thought yeah. Yes. Audience go for that. That's a good guess. Really good. Big up. Big up. Very Big up. popular in the studio. That is good. Let's crank up the clue count. It's that old classic, two lies and uh, truth. You're about to hear three oh, okay. clues, Ooh. but only one of them oh. will be true. Oh, my God. Firework, let's hear your first clue, please. I don't like waste, but I have been guilty of dumping. I don't like waste, but I've been guilty of dumping. We're not thinking fly tipping. We're not thinking fly tipping. <laughs> Do you want the next clue? <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know how funny it is when the costumes laugh? <laughs> <laughs> next clue, go for it. You couldn't make up how I beat 900 people. Oh. I know this voice. I can hear her voice. Your third one. I made a real impression with something I wore. I made a real impression, a real impression with something she wore. wore. I know! Who is the woman that is really close to Simon Cowell that wore the palm trees? Sunita. Sunita. You could be Sunita. Because you do reality. reality. Has she done Dancing on Ice? Yes, yeah, she did. She did. And anyone who works with Simon Cowell deserves a gold medal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've heard what the panel think. But how about you? Tweet us with your guesses using the hashtag MasterSingerUK and you could see them on screen. The burning question is, who's inside? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for fireworks. Yeah. Did Fireworks' performance spark any bright ideas? Or are the panel misfiring? Who do you think's behind the mask? I kicked off the show with a bang tonight. I felt like I was on fire, literally. Performing first is Firework. Give it up for Firework, everybody. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Yay! Come on. Seeing stars. 
You could be Sunita. Michelle Keegan. Kate Lawler. Anne-Marie. But they're blinded as to who I am. Okay, okay, I'll be honest. Being a firework is hard, man. But it's so much fun. I think she does have a real accent. It's hard one to fake. I love to dress up. I do love labels, but there's one that you might know me for most of all. That's a bit of a riddle, and I have been known to rhyme. Known for one label. Maybe they have their own yeah, fashion label. Yeah. Thinking that you might guess me, well, that's a very scary thought. <laughs> I don't mind, because I like to be scared. Well, now I'm being a proper little horror, aren't I? Foxy's on socks. Foxy lady. Maybe she's got red hair. This looks awesome. Girl power. Woo! <laughs> I think I recognise the voice, but I just can't place it. Some of the clues, though, rhyme, someone who loves to rhyme. Could it be someone who does, like, rap sometimes in a song? Could it be one of our young artists, like Lady Leisha? <laughs> Good guess. Davina, I'll come to you next. Hi, Farwell. You guys are dressed the same today. Look at yeah, you. Yeah, Here you match. It's so nice. I was thinking kids, and I heard the words um, hard man. And I was thinking a kid of somebody from a hard sort of family. And I was thinking yeah. maybe like a soap, like an EastEnders. And then I thought the Slaters. The Slaters like are a really hard family. <sighs> and Lacey Turner plays Stacey Slater. Davina, you, I've just made sense of another clue which backs up what oh, you're yeah. saying. Oh, yeah, go on. You know we saw the words, there was a box and it had A-L-B-T-R-E. Yeah. What does that mean? But if you take the first three letters, Al, Al and the second three, you reverse them, E-R-T, it's Albert, like <gasps> Albert Square. This is who it is. Oh. When you just said that clue about hard man, and if you think of a hard man, it's in a soap. Danny Dyer is yeah, the hard so man that's what I Albert said. Square. It's Danny Dyer. That's the daughter. That's the daughter yes. of Danny Dyer. It would be Danny with an I Dyer. Rita, what do you think? I thought, what other hard men are there in the world? I mean... Well, you're it... sitting next to one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the daughter of Ray Winston. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie Winston. That's a good one. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Well done, that's great. You should only use them outside, but who's inside? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for firework. Yeah.
The panel are fizzing with ideas, but are any of them right? The panel had some diabolical guesses tonight. This firework has got more songs to come. Lacey Turner. Danny Dyer. Jamie Winston. And I'm hoping to keep it that way for a little longer. <laughs> Throughout this competition, you've been studying my every move as you try to get inside my head. Mm. He wants to get inside the head of a therapist. But that could be acting. Which is funny, you know, because that's the same thing I do in my job. I hope I've made a good impression. Fireworks have been around throughout a lot of history, and this one has definitely seen a lot of drama. Period. Period drama. Drama queen. Oh, I've got a text. Love Island. Who's prim, though? Prim. On the bad side. Look at all the directors. Tonight, I'm hoping my performance goes off with a First of all, wow, what energy you bring to this stage. Every time I see you, I get more and more excited. Right, so you say all this stuff out of my head. Last time I saw you, you actually sang Kids, Robbie Williams and Kylie Minogue. This could possibly be Danny Minogue. Ooh. And yes. Ooh. Firework doesn't really have a face, so it's quite... I don't know where to look, but you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, give them what they want, firework. <laughs> um, OK, I was thinking period drama. Who does period dramas? I feel like must be an actor. She was in Derry Girls and in Bridgerton. Nicola Coughlin. Yes. Ah, yes. Good shout. That's a good guess. Jonathan, we're going to come to you next. Period drama these days, when they make it, can also be set in the 50s mm. or the 60s. And there's a British actor I'm thinking of. She played Scylla in a period drama. I think it's Sheridan Smith in there. Oh! Ooh. OK. OK, Davina. 
I saw Prim, the word Prim. Now, Prim is not a well-known name, but I was a Hunger Games obsessive, and Prim was Jennifer Lawrence's little sister. And I was wondering whether it could be Jennifer Lawrence, because she was in a period drama from the 30s. You may laugh, but honestly, Neo was on the last series. I mean, I'm, to, I'm just going to say it, Jennifer Lawrence. I don't you, care what you You say it. Don't yeah. listen to anybody else. I'm not going to. Mo! I thought drama, we're looking at soap. So if you're thinking soap, Coronation Street, I think it could be Tina O'Brien who's in Coronation Street. Ooh. Could be Tina O'Brien. New name coming up, I like that. Do you guys want a clue? Yeah, yes, please go. And let's see what's happening on Fireworks Socials. It was Becky and McIntyre. Somebody that was on a Michael McIntyre show. It hasn't helped anybody, has it? No. no. Well, we'll only find out who's inside Firework when they come out to display. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Firework! <laughs> Has Firework's display given the panel the right answer or left them in the dark? Who do you think's behind the mask? <laughs> I can reveal the character who received the fewest votes from our audience and will be removing their mask right now is... Firework! <laughs> Which means rock opera donuts, your secrets are safe! for now, but one of you will be revealing your identity before the end of the show. Give it up for Rock Hopper and Donuts, everybody! <laughs> well done! Fireworks, sadly, your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end, and you will be removing your mask very shortly. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? Mo, I think it is Danny Dyer. D Danny Dyer, the daughter. The daughter, Danny yes. Dyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Davina McCall. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Ollie Alexander. I've gone with Nicola Coughlin from Derry Girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rita. I'll stick with my Jamelia. Jonathan Ross. I'm saying big Danny Dyer, not small Danny Dyer. <laughs> Cracked it. Firework. Who's behind the mask? Take it off. 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 I don't know who this is. Take it off. 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 You're like best friends, right? Yes, but I just didn't know if she's like away with her baby. But I was like, fireworks. I literally call her a firecracker. We all call her that. <laughs> Your voice is so good, so distinctive, though. That's what, I feel like that's why it threw us off a bit, because it's like, oh, who is that? Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. That's a huge compliment coming from you. Oh, Lovely. Lovely. Oh. So you connecting all the clues, the period drama stuff. You played Barbara Windsor. Yes. I did yes. play Barbara yes. Windsor. Oh. And Poirot. And that was all the Albert Square references. Oh. I guess the Spielberg, Scorsese, the Kappa mentioned, because of course, your dad has worked with all those. Yeah, and I was a runner for them. That's, <gasps> how, that's how I started in the industry. Oh, wow. Why did you decide to do Mars Singer? Um, for me, it was a non-brainer just, you know, for my, for my son, who's five-year-old. Yeah. Does he know, or will it be a surprise when you watch the show together? No, it's, it's going to be a complete surprise. Wow. Yeah. Raymond, I love you. Mummy's a firework! <laughs> 
Oh, honestly, it's so wonderful. You've been amazing on the <laughs> Thank show. Thank you. you so much for being a part of it. Singing for us one final time, unmasked at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jamie Winston!